Welcome to Level Pixel Level. Today I just want to show you two quick things. It's how to hide full control layers with a driver and how to hide individual uh, controllers or bones with a driver as well. Let's get right to it. I'm going to flip to pose mode on this rig. And I usually like to store these controls on a root bone or the main bone. It's under custom properties under the bone tab. I'm just going to click add and then I'm going to edit this property and I'll just rename it to toggle layer. I'll put the property value to zero and the default value is zero. That's because I want this to be a switch, not a dial. I'm going to click OK. Under toggle layer, I'm going to right click and do copy as new driver. So I'm going to come to the armature panel and all of these bones are organized into layers. So if I just hold shift, I can toggle on and off the leg controls here. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to do paste driver. Now when I activate the toggle layer switch here from 0 to 1, 0 will hide those controls and 1 will make them visible. So if you want to hide an individual control, it's a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to click on the root node here again. I'll go to the bone tab. I'll click add and I'll click edit and I'll do toggle control. Again, property value of 0 and 0 for the default value. So toggle control, same thing. I'm going to right click and click copy as new driver. I'll do it to this foot control right here. So there's two places you can find this value. Under the bone tab, under viewport display, there's this hide option right here. Also, if I go to my outliner and I hit the decimal point on my keyboard, it'll flip to my selected bone, which is foot left 001. There's also the screen option here, which is just the same as the hide toggle right here. What's weird with the hide toggle is on means it's hidden, means it's true. False means it's visible. We'll have to deal with this when we add our driver. I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to do paste driver. Now when I click on the root node again here and I do toggle control, one hides it and zero makes it visible. I want to flip that. I want zero to hide it and one to make it visible to keep it in line with other switches I might add in the future. So let's click on the foot here and let's look at the actual driver panel here. So I'm under editor type drivers. So this is my input graph here. When I input a value of zero, it's giving me a value of zero, which is false. When I input a value of one, it's going to give me a value of one, which is true. So that's under the drivers panel here. We're going to add a modifier. So I'm going to come to the modifier panel here, and I'm going to add a generator modifier. So when I add a value of one, I actually want a value of zero. And when I add a value of zero, I actually want a value of one. So first thing I'm going to do is y equals, I'm going to put this to one. That lifts up the entire graph. So that when I add a value of one, it gives me a value of zero. I'm going to put the x to negative one here. So now what I've done is just flipped this line around so that when I put a value of zero, it's going to give me a value of one. So when I take this dial now and put it to one, it's going to make it visible and zero is going to hide it. Play around with the generator function some more. To be honest, this is the most I use it for is just to flip hidden notes just because Blender views hidden as true, not visible. And it's just a different way to think about how it's actually dealing with that uh, visibility of that object. Big thank you to my patrons for supporting this video. Uh, this is something they've been asking for, just a little bit more in-depth tutorial into uh, toggle controls and toggle layers. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.